Hello everyone. So we're back today for another lesson in the solar system topic, and today is part two, the temperature of the planets. So are you ready? Great. Now let's open your textbook, page one hundred and twenty, and also one hundred and twenty-one. Okay, let's look at the dialogues for the. Cartoon here. Is the temperature of every planet the same? Let us follow the conversation between Lim and his friends. So this guy here, this boy here, this is Lim. Lim, why are you sweating? It's hot here. Uh, we don't feel hot over here. It's hot here because I'm standing near the fire. Oh, can we relate this situation to the temperature of the planets that we're learning about? So, on the next page, this is a model of the solar system, the sun, and also the eight planets. The sun is the source of heat for the solar system. Its temperature is very high, so remember in the f、um, previous lesson we learned that in the solar system, the only source of heat is the sun. Okay, so the sun provides heat in the solar system. So now what we are going to learn today is the temperature for each planet. Okay, so the temperature. This planet is the closest to the sun. This one, the first one. Therefore, its temperature must be higher than any other planets. Okay. Do you remember the name of this planet, the closest to the sun? Yes, you're right. It's Mercury. This planet here is the farthest from the sun, so its temperature must be the lowest. See the distance. Aha!、Uh -huh. Remember what is this planet's name? You're right. It's Neptune. Okay. Now, what can you state about the temperature of the planets? The temperature of the nearest planet to the sun is higher. Then the temperature of the farthest planet from the sun, so it is logical, right? Just like Lim and his friends, Lim feels very hot. He is sweating because he is nearest to the barbecue set, whereas the girls here they don't feel hot at all because they are really far away from the source of heat. So it's the same concept over here. Aha!、Uh -huh, but look what this girl is saying. However, Venus has the highest temperature in the solar system. Remember Venus? Which one is Venus? Yes, the second planet from the sun. Okay. Compared to Mercury, Venus' temperature is higher because of its thick atmosphere. That traps heat. Aha!、Uh -huh. So now you must know that although Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun, but it is not the hottest planet in the solar system. Venus is. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. Now you need to remember why, because of the thick atmosphere around Venus. It's just like、um, yourself wearing a blanket. Don't you feel really hot under a blanket? So the blanket traps the heat. Okay, so that is why Venus is the hottest. Okay, so Venus has a thick atmosphere that traps heat. Uh huh. That is why it is. Remember, it is the hottest planet in the solar system, and not Mercury. Okay, now let's look at the hot question here. 
if the Earth were located in Uranus position, would it be suitable for life? Why? Okay, now which one is Uranus? This one, right? So if Earth, instead of being here, the third planet from the Sun, is right here, do you think the Earth would still be suitable for life? Mm, what do you think is the temperature here? You're right, it's really, really cold here because of its position. It's too far away from the sun. Do notice that even though planet Earth is the third planet from the sun, there are some parts of the Earth which are very, very cold too, like the Arctic and the Antarctica. So can you imagine if we shifted here to the second last planet in the solar system? It would be tremendously cold. So do you think life can be supported there? No, right? Okay, now let's look at the next slide I'm going to show. Okay, these are the planets according to its position. Uh, not uh, position per se, according to um, its um, distance uh, from the sun. So Mercury being the nearest planet to the sun and the actual or the estimated um, distance is 57.91 million kilometers. Okay, the distance between Sun and Mercury. And then we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So as you can see here, like we have just learned that the nearest planet is really hot but the second planet, Venus here, is even hotter. Why? Can you Tell me why again. Yes, because of the thick atmosphere. Just remember like a blanket. Like when you're wearing a blanket all over your body, you would feel very, very hot because heat is trapped inside. So that is why Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. And then here we have Earth where we have... Um, really hot places um, like the desert and also there are really cool places like at the polars the um, Antarctic and also the Antarctica so we have um, variations here so you can imagine the further a planet is situated um, compared to the, um, the distance with the Sun so you can imagine how colder it must be. Alright, can you guess what? That is all for today. So that concludes today's lesson. I really hope you get all your facts right. And okay, see you next week. Bye!